29-year-old Cole Brower just wrapped up the voyage of a lifetime. <laughs> blazing into port and history this March as the first American woman to ever race nonstop around the world alone. In Spain, Brower was met by a sea of family, friends, even competitors. I'm very proud of her. Celebrating her ocean odyssey. Yeah. And second place in the global solo challenge. Has it sunk in that you're a history maker? No, for, for sure it has not sunk in. While her twin sister was part of her high school sailing club on Long Island, New York, ironically, Brower ran track. She didn't learn the sport until she went to college in Hawaii. But former teachers say her grit shined through long before. It brings pride to the whole school and the whole community. All the same things we're seeing now with her is the same things that I saw in the classroom every day. Brower traded in her goal of becoming a doctor for life on the water. But the five foot two athlete quickly faced headwinds in the male dominated industry, even turned down from a previous competition, she says, merely because of her size. There was a lot of professionals that wouldn't touch me with a 10 foot pole. Brower reflected on those challenges ahead of finishing the race on a video call with us from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I push so much harder when someone's like, no, you can't do that or you're too small. And I'm like, well, OK, watch me. Brower was the youngest and only woman of the 16 competitors in the Global Solo Challenge. More than half of the skippers have dropped out of the grueling race. Watch as treacherous conditions toss Brower across the cabin, badly injuring her ribs. She even put in her own IV when dehydration took hold. I had had a really rough time throwing up. For perspective, more than 6,000 people have climbed Mount Everest. Fewer than 200 have sailed nonstop around the world. Marco Nanini founded the Global Solo Challenge, a first of its kind race that allows a variety of boats to compete. The biggest asset is your mental strength, not your physical one. And so Cole has just shown everyone. This is where we got to say see you soon. Setting off last October, Brower sailed 30,000 miles down the western coast of Africa. It's been crazy it's been out here. Fun over to Australia uh, big waves. and through the notoriously rough waters around South America because there's a couple storms that are going to hit the Cape before closing the loop in Spain in the middle of the ocean there is nobody to call you have to be able to handle it yourself and you learn very quick that when it's a life and death situation you just figure it out Along the way, she amassed more than 450,000 followers on Instagram, getting candid about the ups and downs of life at sea. And so that southwest, oh, I'm approaching. And all the moments in between. Now, Brower has her sights set on the highest level of solo circumnavigational races, the 2028 Vendee Globe. What do you hope people take away from your success? I really want people to find what they're passionate about and go and fight for it. Uh, the truth of the matter is, is that like, anytime you hear the word no, I would just ignore it. As the girl on fire navigates a new chapter in history and continues steering the sport into a more inclusive front. I can be a woman, I can paint my nails, I can still dress nice and, um, and still be a racer. I think it's super important not to lose yourself like as a woman in this industry. And you don't have to act like a man to be respected. Emily Ikeda, NBC News. Nightly Films is sponsored by Pfizer. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.